w życiu jak w boksie. Jeśli chcesz coś wygrać, musisz odwalczyć. I musisz być w tym dobry. Wojak dobry jest. Okay, Steve Cunningham with us, the big champ of cruiserweight, and tell me, how do you feel after first fight in heavyweight division? I feel, uh, I feel, I feel very good. I felt comfortable in the fight. Um, the extra pound, I, I literally went up almost 10 pounds, you know, in that time between February and my um, first heavyweight fight. So, but I felt very comfortable. I felt energetic. I felt, um, I felt powerful. I felt. I feel good. <laughs> okay, that's 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 perfect. Just I must tell you the the question. I must ask you the question. Yeah. Do you don't you don't think so? This is so so fast for you. You know, fight with Thomas Adamek is too early. No, I don't. Um, you know, I mean, I fought him already. You know, a great fight, a split decision fight at that. I mean, not not saying what's a couple pounds, but what's a couple pounds? You know, uh, a fight is a fight. You know, uh, like I said before, I grew up fighting in the streets. You know, um, I fought guys way bigger than me before with no gloves. And like I said, you know, I've got stabbed before. You know, I've got hit with, with stuff in the fight. Uh, listen, a fight is a fight, man. I'm ready to fight. I will be prepared. Um, my weight won't be that far from his. I mean, he may come in at 220. I may come in at 210. What's, what's 10 pounds? You know, we're going to work. We're going to fight. And... You're gonna see the best Steve Cunningham you ever saw. Uh, thank you. Uh, I I wait for this fight. I I appreciate you know you you took the gloves, um, but you know Thomas spent three years in a heavyweight division. This is exactly three years. Yeah, it's um, and, and we understand that. We know that he's uh he's done some good things, some great things, you know, in his career, and we respect that. We totally see that, and we take that into account, you know, when we put our when we put the game plan together and when we work. So. Um, we're ready, you know, we'll be ready and um, mentally we're ready now, but we will physically and mentally be ready on December 22nd. Steven, tell me about the technically different um, trainings. What do what you have the parts different of trainings in a cruiser uh, division and heavyweight division? Of course you can eat more, yes? You don't care about the weight. What, what next? Just, yeah, just a little more eating and uh, <laughs> and um, Actually, for me, it's, it's calming down a lot, you know, because, um, you know, in, as a cruiserweight, that was my normal walk-around weight, you know. I never had to sweat down, but I was always working out. I was a small cruiserweight, you know. A lot of people don't know, but uh, I, I had to put on weight, actually, to reach the 200-pound limit. So, uh, basically, me calming down, not doing so much, not wearing my body down so much. And like I said, I felt so good and so comfortable in the Gavin fight is because of the, tr the way we did that camp. You know, um, man, I, I swim, I run, I, I run hills, I use weight vests, I do all this stuff. I already did that. And now it's just, hey, man, you need to, let's tone down a bit and keep this weight on and keep and get stronger. And I felt the difference. I feel the difference. That's perfect. Good luck at December 22. And please say a couple words for Polish fans because you're very popular in Poland. Oh man, I thank you guys for uh for being a fan of me. Um I just could pray to keep on putting on good fights for you guys for the world. For you guys, you guys are a special part of my my heart because I won my first title in Poland. Poland is a special place for me and my family and uh you guys are some great fans. I know that for sure. Thank you. God bless you man. All right.